Good morning. It's Saturday. Uh, coffee first. So hold on. Okay, that's brewing. Um, I've been swapping out my creamer for this level one um, pumpkin spice uh, protein. Just to, like give myself an extra boost here. So it's super easy to make. It's like protein and coffee. Easy peasy, right? Um, so today I am in charge of chicken chores and uh, the boys actually are going to go um, do some hay running around today. So that leaves me and Jalen kind of on our own this morning. So I'm going to go down and <clears throat> do the chicken chores. And I thought today would be a great day to do like a day in the life type thing, um, especially since I, one, feel good. Two, there's actually stuff I'm doing and to-do list. Um, yesterday, we had some water pump issues at the pump house for the cows. So I need to go over and check that, check cows. Um, do chores. Yesterday I was very fortunate. I got to go ride um, at one of our local barns and it was so, so good. Like I'm sore. Like that's, I'm stretching. But um, it felt so good. So good to ride Shiloh and um, help with my friend. Um, just work on stuff. It really sparked um, my, like my heart again to remember why I like writing so much and just helping and all the things that goes along with that. Sorry, that's probably bothering you, but I'm not turning my fan off. Um, so let's get ready to go, um, chore and do all the things that farm life consists of. Also, keep my new shirt. So God made a farmer. Um, one of my friends that I met at, um, Rural Rooted created this line so go check out jess's website and you guys can order they have different ones farm wife farm mom ranch mom all the different things so if your wife needs a christmas present go check out jess's page uh, just love these and there's a little bible verse mine's um second corinthians 9 6 so anywho let's let's drink our coffee and our protein and get today started Good thing I love my husband. Um, he forgot something, so I didn't even get to enjoy my coffee yet because he needs some papers. So it's not always fun having livestock, especially when it's crappy weather outside, but um, we have pump house issues and Jason went to go get parts, but you have to kind of baby the pump right now. So, um, I let it fill the calf water, the cow's water, and now I'm gonna turn it off so we don't burn the pump up. Actually, it was kicking off. Not that you guys can see, because now we are. Hmm. We're gonna turn it off at the breaker because it's going to just keep on running and keep on running so um, this is our little pump house and we're going to go back and do chores now we've got some moisture it's a little bit muddy not enough but a little bit and we're not going to complain because every little bit helps even if it's very muddy I've already fed Shiloh, checked the bowls. I need to water them. Um, I just bucketed Shiloh some water, but uh, I need to water the bowls because they're almost out. They don't have a water line up there, but I don't want to do that until we get the water pump situation fixed. And it's another kind of cruddy day today. It's misty, it's damp, it's 37. It's not much fun to be honest. But it is what it is. It is December. We are starting to feed the cows. Silo traction. I'll take you along for the day. Anyway, in my last video, I asked you guys how many ums did I count? 
So today I'm going to try to do better and no umming. So I'm gonna drive back to the shop. I'm gonna do the chicken chores and let out the ducks. And then I'm going to see what needs done after that and wait for the boys to get back. I should have brought my bibs down. I didn't realize it was as chilly as it was. Ow. That's lovely. I'm contemplating actually cutting it off, like chopping it off this fall, this winter. I guess it is winter now because it's December. Um, it's officially hat season and it always gets just nasty, ratty. Um, it's kind of gotten really kind of out of control long too, to be honest. Anyway, let's go. Sure. Can you guys see all of them? Holy gravities. I heard them. They just keep coming. Cool, huh? What are we doing, girls? Um, Snuggling and watching yeah. movies? <laughs> yes. Yes, we're having a girls' day. Is the kitty over there? She's somewhere. She's somewhere. What do you think, Cassie? <laughs> Are you very jealous? There's the cat. That's what we're doing today. Waiting for the boys to come home, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we have to, I have to go fix the water pump. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna sit pretty? There you go, good girl. Right, get down. The corn is still in. It's December. <laughs> good morning. From Roxy and I, we are walking to work this morning. Um, it's been rainy and dreary kind of the last few days. And today, the sun, the sun is shining. And actually, it's not terribly cold. Like, I could probably not do with all my whole get up, but I was not prepared. <laughs> I thought it was going to be cooler outside. Um, so, happy Monday. It's December 4th, I think. Um... I've already started the albums today. I'm gonna try to do better. So today I am got a lot of things running around. Um, Jalen has cheer practice. Keaton has a game. We also have some 4-H stuff going on. And I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I have a two-day conference to attend to, so I'm really excited about that. I'm connecting with other young farmers in our tri-state area. So really excited about that. So I'll leave tomorrow morning right before, right after the kids get on the bus and head out and I'll be home sometime Wednesday evening. It's our last week of basketball. It is kind of bittersweet because I enjoy that sport so much. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a fantastic week and we'll see you down wherever I get to be, wherever the truck's at. You guys, look what we have. So for the first time in like forever, there's mud. Um, I don't really like the mud, but it means there's been some moisture and we desperately need the moisture. Um, so I don't have anybody horse-wise home except for Rocky the pony. Everybody else is at the farm. Shiloh is the only one pinned up at the moment because I've been riding and we're, I'm just messing with her. Everybody else has turned out to pasture. Okay, 
since I wasn't recording, we'll take this try too. I was talking about um, the arena calves because I shut the water off there. I must have clicked it off when I did that. We have 65 um, calves from this year's crop, which is our biggest numbers yet. They are a superb um, calf crop. Most of them are out of those red Hereford bulls. Obviously we bought a bunch of heifers, first time heifers this year, or well, last year we bought them um, for the 2023 calving season. We did not do that this year. We literally just held back our own stuff. And that's what we're doing in the arena right now with these, these yearling calves. We're gearing up for the 2024 calving season. And I'm so excited. Like it's hard to believe it's already December around here. Did you see that? Did you peek that? Um, but it is, it's December, it's December 4th and it's beautiful out. It's, the truck says it's only 34, but the warm sunshine just makes it feel so much nicer. I'm going to buzz over to um, the farm barn and feed Shiloh and just check everybody there. I'm trying to remember what else I was saying, talking about. We did sell the 6145, it's on auction time. And I think it sells on, um, I want to say it sells on the 13th. I will double check and link it below because this video will come out before it completely sells. But it's our auction time. We sold it so that we could buy the 5S. I'm really excited about that. Can you tell? I really haven't been doing much today. I feel pretty decent. I am going out of town tomorrow. So I'm just buzzing around trying to get everything prepared because that's what I do. I prepare. It's really hard for Jason and I both to be gone between the cows and the kids and all the running around. So I usually typically go unless it's necessary for him to actually go or be somewhere. I typically do that. I love the connecting aspect, the marketing, networking um, aspects of it. In the last month and a half since we've ended hay season, I have been really focusing on not just my own health and the family and the kids and just different things, but also our business aspect of it. Behind the scenes of, you know, the hay business and the cow operation, but also my own, uh, the Kronos of Kayla business. Because if you, if you know anything about social media, it can be, be a bit of a, I wouldn't call it a hard business to do, but it very much is. Like, you really have to just keep keep pushing through it. Beside the fact. I was kind of hoping Jason would have this barn a little bit more cleared out. But, just thankful for the hay. We're going to get Shiloh her feed. And I'm probably going to go ahead and prepare her buckets. Just to make things as easy on Jason. three days which she probably is due for one I rode her pretty hard on Friday um, I actually was able to go to with a friend oh goodness I got tangled up here um, I actually went with a friend to ride and uh, we took Shiloh and I realized just how much I miss like just just working horses is real eye-opening for me I, I really really do miss it. Um, she's getting this uh, oxygen stuff just to kind of help her. It's a magnesium paste designed more for mares because sometimes it's it a little bit hot-headed. Just gets a little bit hot. And that's mainly because ooh, you guys got hay in you. Sorry about that. It's the nature of the game, right? So, this is our cattle barn facility. We have the bulls here. And then of course I have my baby girl Shiloh, who is my running mare, who is Storm's mama. And you guys will see him, he's out to break. Everybody besides Shiloh, she's the only one up. And again, it's because she's hungry. She's just hungry. Knock them off, okay? Please. Oh, 
wonder what the weather's gonna be like today. How warm is it gonna be? I'm trying to think. If we ride Friday, I'll give me all day Thursday to clean you back up. I might just go ahead and pull your stuff off. Is your lens okay? Sorry guys, she dropped you. Yeah, it's just, these are just magnets and I, sometimes I sit in them too, but she's got plenty of fluff. She's not slicked off. I just, her pen's kind of gross cause it's been raining. So I like to, when I'm riding, I like the convenience of having a blanket, not necessarily to have them not have hair. She's got plenty of hair underneath. I just, like being able to pull a blanket off and throw my tack on. So, everybody's different. I'm gonna grab a brush and then I'll probably just throw her lightweight, this is real thin. This is like a lightweight jacket. It's very thin, very thin. Probably like the one of the thinnest blankets you can put on. You can see that she's, she's got plenty of fluff. Don't you? Plenty of fluff. And if you're not here for the ponies, just just skip on over. You don't have to be mean. Just just hit forward. I love my ponies, and they're always going to be a part of me. So we're gonna just brush her down a little bit. Ready to go home? Thank you for your help. Are you gonna tell everybody else good morning? Aw, oh, good, good, good girl. All right, nah, sit. Sit. We're working on manners. Good girl. Kinda sad that we're he heading in the opposite direction as the sunrise, but we are on our way. We made it. I left the house a little after six. It's almost 11. We're doing good. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, wherever, whatever you're doing. I am obviously away from the farm the next couple days for um, an Ag Connect conference. I hope you guys have a blessed one. Good morning from Maryville. Um, I went down and worked out for just a little bit. Like, did some stair stepping, nothing much. And now I'm fueling myself with breakfast. And some peanut butter. Um, we have another busy day. It's a bunch of seminars. Um, I don't know where my paper went to like talk to you more about what's going on. Um, but it's always good to get away from the farm. I always just like kind of dread leaving because it stresses me out but it's always good to get away and network and meet with other people and like-minded people and it's young farmers it's like me and jason so that's always good but uh yeah kind of a later start this morning we don't actually have to start and be there till 9 30 which is a plus so i did kind of sort of try to sleep in i mean i slept in i laid in bed till five that's where that's at. I'm going to uh, 
finish my breakfast, reply to a bunch of comments because I have not done that. I actually didn't even bring my computer. I didn't even bring it because there really hasn't been too much happening. But um, I thought about doing another live this weekend. Ugh, my milk won't open. This is depressing. <sighs> this should not be this hard. Maybe it's because I've been that far. Have I just not been in school that long that I can't open? <sighs> this is my struggle. Aha, there we go. Got it now, got it now, okay. Um, so, what was I saying? Chocolate milk just hits different when you uh, do a workout. Anywho, I'm gonna do try to do a live this weekend. I think on Sunday, I will let you know, this is gonna probably come out on Friday. Today is Wednesday. Jason's been doing a ton of delivering and I have been doing um, some writing and journaling and working on my blog and some projects going into January. Um, probably going to be taking January off from social media, kind of just taking a break and unless something exciting happens, um, but just kind of just know that in January it's going to be a little slow. I also thought about doing like a recap video of hay season. I thought that would just be kind of fun just to do. And yeah. So anyway, I am going to get ready. I'm really tempted to wear this cute Christmas sweater today. I'm real tempted guys, like really tempted. But then I'm kind of complex, like do I need to dress up and look a little bit more formal? The struggle, the struggle. Okay, another trip down the hatch. It's like coming home. Yeah, this is a whole new building. I think it was built in 2021. It was not here when I came to Northwest. This is the RTRH uh, Wright Farms. And it's the Ag Learning Building. Expected revenue and then subtract from there all the cash costs, the non cash costs like the own labor, the uh, your life better, whether your family on the farm or otherwise. So at the end of my session here today, will you all commit to having one idea written down? Please say yes. Very nice. Uh so close to being home. So close morning. Whoa, just fell over. Headed out the door. Jason's delivering hay today. Kids have school. I got home late last night and I'm headed over to the farm barn to uh, see Shiloh and I'm actually sneaking away for just a little bit again this morning and uh, gonna go ride my pony I believe because it's going to be super nice today. So that's where I'm headed. He took my wild child today. He took Roxy instead of Ryder. I'm sure he's gonna love that. She was sitting in his seat all happy to go. Uh, she normally doesn't get to go unless I take her somewhere, so she was going to go today. She was getting to go. So, I'm running back here. I'm going to grab some hay um, for my net, and then I'll feed Rocky real quick, and then we'll jump on over to the farm barn. Isn't it beautiful? I just love mornings. It's not quite seven. I really struggle during the winter months because I really wanted daylight at, like, Four o'clock. Let's be honest. Four o'clock. You better eat quickly, sister. We got places to be today. I know. I'm rushing you.
What do you think, girlfriend? I know. Two weeks in a row we get to haul? Yeah. So this is actually one of the barns that we provide hay for. It's really nice, so that's, that's our hay. been a busy day. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these kind of days where it's just it's perfect, perfect weather. Uh, I think it was like 61 at one point today. So crazy to think it's December and 60. Um, bringing the mixer wagon over for Jason to uh, fill and then we'll go feed the mamas. I have not seen the girl since I don't know, maybe Sunday, Monday. I, I, I really don't know. Because I left Tuesday morning. I didn't see them y'all yesterday. And I didn't really take time to look at them today. So they might look different. I know we moved from Paddock. So we are feeding TMR. We will be mixing our corn silage and some hay and straw. And if you don't know what a TMR, it's a total mix ration. It just kind of takes mediocre hay that we wouldn't normally sell for uh, like quality or top line quality. And it puts it into this, think of it as like a big giant KitchenAid mixer. And we mix it all together, kind of like a cake mix. Cause you know, cake batter isn't always the best. Like if you just were to eat flour by itself or butter by itself, but if you mix all these ingredients, together the cake batter paint tastes pretty decent right so that's pretty much what we're doing with our cows we take all these um, lesser ingredients and put it together to make a really tasty snack we also don't feed um, our cows except for during the winter months when the grass is a little bit more short and cooler and they're finishing in their last trimester of pregnancy and then they're getting ready to calve they need those extra calories to finish calving, to produce milk, and make good babies, and then get like enough weight back on them come spring to be rebred. So there's a lot of moving parts during the fall and winter for us. So we utilize the TMR mixer. Looks like made sense. So the girls just wait for you to come? Pretty much. Dinner time. Dinner time. Oh, sweet pea. Let you get the gates. So he was saying like the last two nights, because he's just he does it by himself. He just opens the gates and sweet pea, who is the little white face one right here number 60 she comes and gets on her dirt pile and then walks back but he leaves all the gates open and they don't they don't migrate out we have good girls I'm pretty fortunate I love my job
There she goes. <laughs> That's so funny. She just gets on her dirt pile. Yep, and then she'll come back. And then she comes back. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at them waddly butts. So happy. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas around here. Look at all them gifts. Boxes, and that's only three of the five. I have to get the rest of out of the truck. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Holy, holy, moly. holy crap. <laughs> what all did you get? I don't know, but I'm Fishing. going in. Hunting. What did you say, Jason? We'll, we'll <laughs> hook every tree and keep on fishing. <laughs> We're not going to have um, fishing stuff unless we need new poles and stuff for all this. We're not going to have to buy new lures for a long time. Yeah, for like what do you guys 10 tell, years. What do you guys tell Drew? <laughs> Thank you. I just put all Keaton just put all that back in there. But there's a bunch of calls and all kinds of stuff. What do you, what do you think? Pretty cool. We're very appreciative, aren't we? Thank you. Joan don't even know half the stuff she is. <laughs> yeah, I know some of it, but not all of it. Hunting. Well, yep. we didn't get to hunt as much, but oh, just the busy. weather, the weather and stuff going oh, on. Yeah. So and the new wall. they're both. Oh, yep, you got some new uh, yeah, bobbers, might, didn't you? I might need these. Mom needs those. I'm just going to keep these on. Get You're just going to keep those on, huh? Did yeah. you see, Jason, did you see these that Jalen's like courting? Okay. These okay. are mine. Okay, gang, we are going to uh, knock out this week's video editing and uh, have another cup of coffee. Isn't my cup just the cutest? Um, Allison at Maker of the Bins is so freaking talented. And I'm going to link that all below. You guys can go check her out. She's been doing some of our merch stuff for us lately. And it is top of the line. Anyway, I'm going to load the rest of the videos for this week. And it'll be out this afternoon. I also have some other exciting news to talk to you guys about. So, it's December. Where am I going? Okay, I had like a sneezing fit. Roxy and I are walking down this morning. It is not as nice yet, but it kind of looks like it could maybe rain possibly. Anyway, um, a little bit later than I anticipated going down. One, I was editing. Two, I was blogging and working on a few little projects I'm really, really excited about. But also, Jalen has a fever and she's not feeling good. So she's actually finally asleep again. So it gives me a few minutes to walk down, stretch my legs, <laughs> feed and check on things there, and then come back so I can finish my editing so I can drop my video today. So actually, this is like Friday, so you're actually seeing this on Friday. It has been a busy week. Um, I was gone to conferences, we ended basketball season, I've been riding, I've been so thankful for the time away from the farm this week because it really gave me a different perspective and always getting away is kind of nice. Next week, what all do we have? We have a five day school week next week for the kids. Um, we are doing a, something a little bit different on the farm. I'm actually not doing Vlogmas this year, which if you've been around YouTube long enough, you know that Vlogmas is pretty much a daily vlog of some sort up till Christmas. I knew going into November that was not going to work for me, but um, I'm riding the week's high of, you know, networking and just all the stuff and maybe I've had too much coffee today. But I am going to be doing a modified version. We're gonna do the 12 days till Christmas, like a countdown. And I thought it would be so fun and just something different to do like my 12 
days of Christmas, like a wish list almost, and share with you guys some of our favorite stuff along the way. So look for that starting on Wednesday, December 13th. It will drop every, I'm, I'm shooting for every day with what's going on around the farm. So there's that. So make sure you guys are hitting the notification bell, the like, thumbs up button, dropping us comments. I love those. You guys, I am so blessed to do what I do and share with you guys and take you along the path and everything in between. So thank you for being a part of our farm story day in and day out. It means a lot. It means a lot. The corn is still in. I don't know if you guys can hear it. What do you think, Max? You wanna tell everybody hi? Oh, you can tell everybody hi. I miss you too, I miss you too. I don't really like you jumping, but you got my, you got my Sandy hoodie dirty. Isn't it cute? I love wearing this one because uh, it's just a deep reminder that even if you're shy or you're not an outgoing person, that you can still do the social media sharing, um, believe it or not. I was not a good public speaker. I'm, I'm, I not still be a bu good public speaker, but it's something that's really God has laid on my heart to do is share and inspire others to follow their dreams whether it's in ag or you know being a teacher or opening your own business whatever it is it is laid on my heart to empower and inspire and that's something i'm going to do more of in 2024.